now being joined by yeah, water, Sabah please. Hamasi. Matter of fact, can I get a fucking Heineken? Does that kind of can I get a Heineken? This good? Check, check. Someone please get me a Heineken. <laughs> Maybe two. Sabah, congratulations, man. I mean, how confident are you in that de decision? Super confident. Fucking dominated every round. And so, you know, how helpful was it to, to hear, you know, Dustin and Mike Brown, you know, from your corner, just, you know, yelling out stuff for you for transitions, everything. How, how, com uh, how helpful was that? Uh, super helpful, you know. Um, put the reps in. Did it over and over again to the point where I was fucking doing it in my sleep. But that's what you got to do. Do it over and over again until you do it in your fucking sleep. I think a lot of people expected that fight to be, you know, you guys just kind of slugging it out on the feet. And uh, you were really able to utilize your wrestling very well. Clear, clear advantage for you. Uh, was that the game plan coming in or was that kind of just something that presented itself? This is mixed martial arts. It's not fucking kickboxing. It's not boxing. If you're expecting someone to come in and stand and strike with you, you're in the wrong fucking sport. Because guess what? If you don't utilize all your tools, what the fuck are you fighting MMA for, you know? And physically, how are you feeling? Obviously, uh, that was a hard-fought fight. Uh, any injuries, Any anything like that? Just normal bumps and bruises, man. Yeah. Congratulations on the win. I just got to ask, uh, with the uh, uh, tragedy that happened in uh, Lebanon, and you having a uh, Lebanese background, how does it feel that you got a win, not only for yourself, but also uh, for... Uh, for, uh, for country pride. I'm sorry, I really couldn't hear most oh, of that sorry, question. Sorry. Well, with the recent tragedy that happened in Lebanon and you having a Lebanese background, I'm just curious to know how does it feel that you got a win, not, uh, not only representing uh, your background, but uh, yeah, it wasn't just a win for yourself, but also for your background. Yeah, man, this was uh, for all the people in Lebanon, this victory was for you. Um, <sighs> shitty tragedy that happened over there, you know, and uh, I'm just happy, you know. My family is safe, and I'm sorry for all the people that did lose loved ones or did get affected by it. But, uh, you know, Dustin Poirier has the, the Good Fight Foundation, so I'd like to auction off my fight kit, my hand wraps, my gloves, my shorts, and um, take those donations and send it over to Lebanon to help out the people that were affected by it. So that's something that I really want to do, just give back to the community over there. I mean, that's the best I could do. You know, it's the best I could think of right now. Sabah, congratulations on the win. Uh, that was the best I've seen you look against an extremely tough opponent. Was this the biggest one of your career? Um, yeah, I would say so. You know, I've been in this sport for a very long time, and I've been saying it as I get older. Um, I'm putting everything together. You know, in the beginning of my career, I always say records are for DJs. You know, my record is shit. Um, I had a rough road in the beginning. I had the physical ability. I'm an athletic person. Um, I just wasn't putting it together properly. But uh, I reached a certain age where, you know, it just clicked for me. And uh, everything has changed. You know, everything has changed in, in my mindset and my performances. And I'm showing it today. You know, I came in here and I, I utilized all my skills. I'm not just a striker. I can't just knock you out. But I have plenty of tools, you know, that people haven't seen. And I'm showcasing it more and more every time I step in there. So, so three fight, win streak now. I think it's time you call your shot. Who do you want? I want Paul Daly, man. Bring that Ninja Turtle over here. As soon as this fucking border opens up, I want him. I want to get in the top ten uh, and, and climb up this ladder. So, yeah, I'd like that. But if they can't make that happen, line them up. Give a shit who it is. Let's fucking go.